Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve exercise 1 for Pearson correlation. Um, this is a little bit tricky, just a little tricky because um, all of this while, um, all of our examples have always been a direct variable. But this is more applicable in your situation where you will use survey to collect data. So in surveys, you will have multiple items measuring a single construct, right? So how do we turn them into a single construct so that we can run inferential statistics? This has already been taught in um, our descriptive class, but I guess a lot of you have already forgotten about it. But it's okay, let's just recap, okay? So we have performance expectancy, PE, social influence, SI, as well as customer satisfaction, denoted by CS. So how do we turn them all into a single construct according to each variable? All right. So we need um, go to transform, compute variable. Okay, you can just name, because I have already done it for my performance expectancy as well as C, um, SI, so I want to do it for my customer satisfaction. So we just need the mean, right? Um, so just yeah, give it a comma after every uh, measurement item. So you're going to get the mean. I know that in descriptive statistics, we learn to calculate the sum of it and divide it by the number of items that they have. But this is another way, okay? So just click on OK. I'm going to show my data. There you go, you have CS. I forgot to rename it. I want it to be named as CS total actually. Okay, there you go. 